Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This video, I'm going to introduce four different characters. I hope you enjoy. Here's the first one Mina. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 375 feet. Weight, 30,000 tons. Status, hero in professional mind. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, sneaky and mysterious. She never needs words. Lethality, she's literally both silent and deadly. Weaknesses, she hates it when others think she's annoying. Powers, she has great size and strength along with all the powers that you would expect from a mime. Eyes, gray. Hair, deep black in a short bob. Origin. Mina was the daughter of the greatest mimes on the planet. One day, there was a large gang that killed her parents and burned down the theater for heartless reasons. Unable to tolerate the chaos from the event, Mina attempted suicide by jumping in a large vat of fluid in a nuclear plant. Luckily, she didn't die, but instead grew to the size of 375 feet. Realizing her transformation, Mina ended up saving all of New York City from the rampaging of Webb. Since then, Mina would do anything to protect the innocents, and is recently trying to see if a man could fall in love with her. Costume. She's always dressed in clothes of black and white. Teams. Solitary or with other heroes. Original inspiration, mimes. Here's the next character. Russian. Real name unrevealed. Height, 9 feet 10 inches. Weight, 307 pounds. Status, villain and defender of Russia. Base, Moscow, Russia, mobile. Intelligence, 5 brains. Behavior, snarky and stubborn. She'll do anything to defend Russia. Lethality. Extremely lethal to all those that violate Mother Russia. Weaknesses. Quantumite is the only thing that can kill her. Powers. She has the same powers as Quantum, along with the ferocity and willpower for relentless Russian champion. Eyes. Hazelish red. Hair. Platinum white and a short bob. Origin. In the bloody child dimension, the Hyperion Quantum crash landed in Soviet Russia instead of the United States making her a notorious weapon for all of Russia. Rather than being sworn enemies with Olga, she's instead a great ally with her. One time, Quantum discovered the bloody child dimension and learned about her Russian counterpart. Eventually, Quantum made an unlikely alliance with the default Olga and her creations, and during the fight, Russian found that Ragnarok and Quantumite were the first two beings to make her wounded. After the fight, the United States won that long war with Mother Russia, and Russian is since doing anything to gain back her power, while also avoiding quantumite energy at all costs. Costume. She wears the red and black version of Quantum's suit. Teams. Solitary, with her allies and other villains. Social inspiration. Quantum and Red Sun Superman. Halfway done. X soldiers. Real name? Inapplicable. Height? 5 feet 6 inches to 6 feet 4 inches. Weight? 27 pounds to 83 pounds. Status? Villain and servants of Voodoo. Base? Voodoo's tomb, Africa. Intelligence? 1 brain to 2 brains. Behavior? Relentless and warlike. They're always willing to serve their genocidal master no matter the cost. Lethality? Deadly one at a time, but worse in a group. Weaknesses, being rivaled, they can't swim. Powers, they wield a series of ancient weapons and almost always travel in large armies. If one of them is destroyed, Voodoo would always be able to resurrect them. Eyes and hair, none. Origin, realizing that hordes of zombies are just not enough for her to use, Voodoo decided to make another kind of undead servant. She later used her dark magic to construct an army of skeleton warriors, which she since named her X-Soldiers. 
Though they're more easily destroyed than the zombies, they come in larger groups and are easier for Voodoo to recreate. Despite their miserable loss against eight, they are still in use and are still utterly eagle, eager to devote their cruel existences to Voodoo. Costume. They sometimes wear ancient armor. Teams. They always work for Voodoo. Original inspiration. Skeleton Warriors. Here's the last character, just so you know. Olga. Real name unrevealed. Height 1 million feet. Weight unrevealed. Status villain and genocidal tyrant. Base the Space Fortress. Intelligence 5 brains. Behavior. Witty and intelligent, yet severely genocidal. She'll stop at nothing to decimate her greatest enemy, Quantum. Lethality. Extremely deadly, and even when she's not trying to be. Weaknesses. Her face is her greatest weak point. Powers. She has immense size and strength, a supreme IQ, and total ruthlessness. She also possesses unnaturally strong throat muscles and can produce quantumite vapors from her lungs. Eyes, light green, hair, deep red, and wavy. Origin. Olga was an everyday Russian chemist who developed a bad hatred for quantum, seeing her as an irritation in her life. She then decided to create quantumite in an attempt did to make a nuclear meltdown in order to destroy quantum. But when quantum interfered, Olga was submerged in the piles of quantumite energy, making her forever mutate into a skyscraping abomination with great strength and a personality to match. She later attacked Quantum and swallowed her lover, Larry Dirks. After watching her eat him, Quantum escaped her grasp and flew across the cosmos to build enough force to strike Olga's stomach, shooting Larry out of her system and saving him. Quantum then knocked Olga out into space where she was seemingly destroyed. However, Olga had designed herself a space fortress where she now resides and would do anything to end her hated enemy. Costume. She wears a crimson colored top, a long sleeved orange and black jacket, matching jeans, and large matching cleats. Team solitary or with other villains. Orzal inspiration, DC's Giganta. Well, I am trying all that I can to make this as quick as I could, so I apologize if I fail to do so. And I've also noticed yesterday that there's this video that I swear I didn't even make, and it just manifested out of nowhere, like, I think my creations are trying to speak out to me or something, like, begging everyone to take more attention to them, you know? I think that's what's going on. I guess I have some work to do in the long run, just for their sake, you know how to, what I'm saying? If you guys want, get like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys enjoy a fine uh, Christmas and New Year's Eve and such. And until next time, and transmission.